Should I learn backend? Should I learn frontend? Should I become a full stack? In today's video, we are going to see what it means to be a generalist, what it means to be a specialist, and which one should you be striving for. What is up guys and welcome to another episode of Developer Habits, a YouTube channel for software engineers interested in growth mindset, developer lifestyle and technical tutorials. My name is Ketmar, I'm a full stack developer from Estonia and today we are going to talk about whether you should be striving for becoming a generalist or a specialist. By the way, if you haven't done so, then please hit the subscribe button below. I started out as a graphic designer and web development was just a tool for me to bring my creativity to life as I couldn't keep up with everything going on in the world of design and development I made a really tough decision to focus only on web development thinking that my life will be easier now I surprisingly saw that the world of web development is full of different options you can take you can become a back-end developer a front-end developer you can deal with DevOps and so on and so on that's why there's been a question in my mind since I started developing should I specialize or should I try to learn everything at once? To a person who is curious and wants to explore and know everything, the answer seems obvious. But based on my experience, the reality is a bit more complex. So, in order to answer should you become a specialist or a generalist, let's go over both of the options. A specialist is someone with tons of knowledge, experience and skills in a particular subject. In order to gain that kind of mastery, one should be focusing on a single subject for an extended period of time. In the world of web development, you can think of front-end developers or back-end developers or database engineers who focus on a really particular part of web development. And even then, you can dig deeper. One may be a front-end developer focusing on Vue.js or a back-end developer focusing just on Laravel framework. As with everything in life, there are both good and bad sides to specializing. Some of the good things about being a specialist include ability to solve complex problems, possibility to become an expert in a very specific domain, less competition, more money. The negative parts about specializing include less variety in the problems you can solve, a narrower view on the things and a bigger chance of becoming obsolete once the technology you are specializing in comes obsolete. A generalist is someone who has a range of skills and experience. In order to become a capable generalist, one should have experience from different fields over an extended period of time. In the world of web development, a full stack developer is a good example of a generalist. They can work with front end, back end, databases, and be able to ship the product using various DevOps tools. If you can do all that, you can call yourself a full stack developer. Some of the good things about being a generalist include being able to solve problems in various subjects, an ability to see the bigger picture, a smaller chance of becoming obsolete as your skills are useful in different situations and also variety. The negative parts about being a journalist includes there are smaller limits to the depth of your knowledge, it's easier to replace you once the problems get really specific, a constant need to keep yourself up to date with tons of different subjects. As you can see there are pros and cons for both being a specialist and being a generalist. Which one should you strive for? In order to answer that, some points must be considered. I believe your experience matters a lot when making the decision. If you are just starting out, I strongly suggest you to focus on a single subject, at least initially. For example, when you want to learn web development, pick just front-end or back-end development. By doing that, you get to craft your skills, learn the fundamentals, and while doing that, you also get to see when you need other disciplines. Let's say you are building front-end and you need some data, then you see that, oh, this is where back-end is needed. In case you already have some experience, there's more freedom to choose. 
whether to continue learning the topic you already are or jump to another area. I personally have encountered this situation many times in my life when I was learning graphic design, front-end development, back-end development and so on. Sometimes I decided to specialize but sometimes learning the fundamentals was enough for me. Generalists and specialists can be really useful in different environments. That's why it's important to know your goals and the environment you want to be part of. For a startup that's in need of an MVP or they just need to move really, really fast, having a full stack developer that can single-handedly build business features can be a really valuable asset. For big corporations, for example banks, optimization and quality and security are more important, thus specialists are more valuable. So ask yourself, which environment do you want to be part of? What is your goal? If you are experienced enough in one subject, then my recommendation is to strive for the balance between being a specialist and a generalist. The concept of T-shaped skills can be helpful here. According to the concept of T-shaped skills, the vertical part of the letter represents the depth of your skills and the horizontal part represents the variety of areas where your skills can be useful. Basically, the concept of T-shaped skills turns the jack of all trades master of none into a jack of all trades a master of at least one. I know that keeping yourself up to date with various subjects can be really hard, especially in the world of web development. But once you learn the fundamentals of one thing and put in the hours to learn even more concepts around it, then jumping into other areas becomes easier. And this is exactly why I suggest you to master one thing and then look into other places. In the end, I am in no position to tell you whether you should strive for becoming a journalist or a specialist. Regarding web development, I strongly suggest you to learn the fundamentals of one area, for example, front-end or back-end. And once you know the fundamentals, you can start exploring other areas while also crafting the skills of the first area. This way, you can shape your T-shaped skills. Remember that in the end, it's you who decides what you want to become and it's you who has to take an action. And this is it guys, I thank you for listening and I genuinely hope that this video helps you to make smarter decisions. If you are interested in growth mindset, developer lifestyle and technical tutorials, then please do hit the subscribe button below. I thank you for listening and see you in the next video. Bye.